Hey you guys, it's Jen at Jen's Haunts, and I wanted to show you what I got done this week. I repainted my panels. Um, I repainted all the grout lines in black, and then I went over the um, s gray sponge roller. I went over that with a, a little sponge I made, cut chunks out of it, and went over it in black. And then I did some tea staining around the window and I got all the molding done. So this is the big one that's going to be at the end. This is one of the smaller ones. Sorry it's so dark. I'm barely catching the end of the day. This is a full panel. One of the full ones. Um, I think it looks a lot better. Look at that moon. That's awesome. Um, this is the center window. Um, so a little tea staining on that molding I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it um, so I'll need to ask your guys' advice this is the panels for my roof I decided I wanted to use tar paper um, I'm not even sure why I got that in my head we had a roll in the garage and I thought I was gonna be able to use something I already had but I didn't have enough so I had to buy more so this is tar paper do I need to paint it if it gets a little wet, is it going to just fall apart? Um, or can I call it good? Do I need to um, hot glue the sides? Um, you know, it's kind of a, I don't know, is it coarse, tough? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good paper, but it's not going to be good if it melts. So there's the other side with the um, lines on it. So that side would be f facing the clouds. The dark side would be um, inside the church. I, it was important that I had a roof. I want it to be kind of enclosed and dark. I think there's something creepy about that. So maybe you can give me some advice on this tar paper. Um, I, if I had to, I could glue it all down and paint it, but that would just suck. So um, tell me what you guys think. If you've ever used anything like this, I didn't want to deal with plastic ripping or blowing away. Um, and this just seemed like a stronger product. So tell me what you think. So I got um, my first window done. Here's the paint job on it. Um, and some people were asking how I did this. I just used a ruler and drew it out. And then the face I had to do some freehand because the picture that I picked was too small. Um, so this is the part that will be facing the street, and of course I painted the other side, but I tried to keep my lines nice. I might need to do two coats, um, because I think when I get a light behind that, those little lines might show up. So that's all right. So, um, the rest of my panels are back here. They're all done. Um, I'm glad it's done. Um, and I am pretty, pretty darn happy with all my windows. I don't know if you can even see that. You guys, it's getting dark. So next week, um, hopefully I'll have the windows installed. And um, I'll give you guys a look at that, um, how I'm planning on doing that. And then in a week, like, you know, two or three weeks, we're probably going to set it up just to make sure that, uh, you know, it's all going to work out. I don't want to go to get it up in October and have it not fit or something crazy. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to do a video next week. It might be the week after. It depends on how long it takes me to get all these done. Um, so you guys will be seeing me again soon. All right, you guys have a great week. Get your haunt on. Stay scary out there.